So uh, my name is Peter Merry. Um, I'm a partner at Engage and uh, founder of the Centre for Human Emergence in the Netherlands and currently also involved in uh, setting up Wisdom University in Europe. I guess I've spent a large part of my life working on um, social environmental issues and um, particularly most recently how we can gather the different players who need to uh, work together in order to work with the complex challenges that we're facing in the world under what we call mesh working. Um, I guess what I'm, you know, if, if you're asking what are the main uh, archetypal energies we need to be um, working with in the world. I think what I've come to see is that we can't really systems think our way out of this challenge. We can't engineer our way out of this challenge. We can't um, use purely our rational mind to navigate uh, where we're going. And which means we do really need to access. Uh, other intelligences um, in ourselves and in the world. And I guess in fundamental, if you take most fundamental archetypal energy, we've, we've been in a, in a yang civilization for a number of hundreds of years where the basic assumption is uh, difference and separation. And we need to reconnect to the, to the, to the yin energy where the basic assumption is interconnectedness. And that's, that by its nature has to go beyond the rational mind because the nature of the rational mind is to create separation and see distinction and it has its use um, but when it's disembedded and uh, from a broader felt sense of interconnectedness um, then all it does is create separation in the world which is the root cause of the challenge as I see it right now. Um, the separation that we that we perceive between ourselves and the earth, the separation that we perceive between our mind and our body, uh, basically the same thing. So the archetypal energies we really needed to be getting back in touch with could be called on the one level the great mother and, and, and then at the other level the great goddess. And what they really are in terms of the great mother is uh, a, a relationship to the earth at a, at a precognitive level, um, so a, a, a healing uh, in a way of the split um, that happened when we individualized um, and weren't able to hold that sense of interconnectedness uh, to the whole. So we really need to um, remember, literally put back together um, uh, who we are in, in terms of remembering that actually we are uh, beings of the earth, uh, like all the other uh, nature beings uh, that surround us. We need to uh, uh, re start experiencing again the re a reciprocal relationship with, uh, with, with nature, um, with other living forms, um, and drop back into a, a relationship that isn't kind of seeing nature as object, uh, but being in mutual relationship with where as you walk in the forest, you don't look at the tree, just look at the trees, but you realize that the trees are looking back at you and that you're actually part of a, 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 an interacting system that you, know, you can understand that at, at the cognitive level. We've really got to start experiencing that in our bodies. Uh, and so the, you know, coming back to life, as Joanna Macy would put it, or, you know, re reminding ourselves of who we are in terms of we are the earth, evolving uh, we are we are the earth speaking to itself listening to itself um, is the first kind of foundational step of, of reactivating reconnecting to the great mother archetype in ourselves and the world around us and that uh, that's a precondition for getting access to the great goddess which is the trans rational uh, yin you could say and Ken Wilber has this lovely quote where he says, when the great mother's repressed, the great goddess is concealed. So until we've healed our relationship to the earth and our body, we're not going to get access to the energetic domain uh, or, or where everything is connected up beyond our rational uh, intelligence. And 
uh, it's key for us to access that domain because uh, in my experience, we're not going to be able to solve this at the relational level uh, in terms of just trying to create better relationships between people such as we've practiced over the years with Theory U, with Art of Hosting, with maps like Spiral Dynamics, all of which point to uh, a way for us to, uh, to um, create better relationships between people. And when we do that, we know that that the stuff that we manifest is um, manifests uh, more gracefully, um, but the complexity uh, that we're facing um, doesn't allow us to purely work at the relational level because there's so much stuff in the way that it's, it's going to take too long, uh, and we can never um, see the whole complexity of that relational architecture. So we really need to start working in the energetic architecture, which. Otto Sharma talks about the social field in Theory U. And that isn't just an abstract idea. That social field actually exists. There is an energetic field that any collective system is held in. And, and that collective energetic field holds the patterns of our relationships, which is why it's a, a social field, as he describes it. And we can try to shift those patterns by trying to change the way we relate to each other, change our behavior and everything else, which is possible, but it's an immense piece of work. Um, or we can just work directly with that field and, and remove blocked and stressed energy, increase uh, life force, integrate information that's needed um, for, that, for that system to function well. And then we'll find that actually the relationships clear up by themselves and the system starts to self-organize far more naturally and rapidly than it would if we were almost going, trying to spend our time in collective therapy. So, uh, so those are, in terms of what I see as the priorities right now, it's really learning to, um, to engage the, the, the non-rational or you could say the intuitive dimensions of who we are, the energetic dimensions who, of who we are, one part of which we know because we've been there, but we've repressed, which is around the relationship to our body and the earth. The other bit, which is emerging and we need to stretch up to, which is the transrational uh, energetic uh, reality. Um, and if um, we won't be able to uh, uh, heal uh, our relationship to nature if we, if we don't really go back down to that, to that first split, uh, and we won't be solving anything. We'll just be creating even more separation if we try to if we try to deal with this rationally, without having healed that separation first. And we won't be able to do it quickly or effectively enough um, if we don't access the the energetic realm, uh, which archetypally might be called that of the great goddess. <laughs>